Sandra Clapham, in a vision talking about health and well-being today. International World Marriage Day is on the 8th of February. Don't want to get into any controversy about people that are divorced or don't believe in marriage or aren't married. That's all absolutely fine. This is just World Marriage Day and celebrating that. I think it's about, from my understanding of marriage, I and mean, I've been to, with my husband since I was 18, so it's like, I think about 35 years of being married. And it isn't always easy, as we all can um, vouch for, I think, when you're staying with one person. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of give and take, and there's a lot of learning. But ultimately, I really am grateful that I'm married, and I'm really happy that I'm married. And I think that if you're not happy and you don't feel grateful in that marriage, maybe you're not meant to be in it, but that's maybe for another talk. But really the celebration of marriage is, the older I get, the more I realise how much I need to appreciate my husband for the things he does do, not the things he doesn't. Because there'll be a whole list of those. And I can obviously sit down and communicate what I need and so on and so forth. But I really like the idea of celebrating something that is actually quite sacred and very beautiful. And I'm really grateful that I stayed married because I nearly didn't stay married. And as I said, it's okay if you if you are married and or you aren't married or you've got divorced. But yeah, it's a time of gratitude, a time of sharing, a time of fun. I still want those times in my marriage. I really want to have we go bike riding and we go out for coffee and we talk and that's not always easy when you've got children. You know, I appreciate that. And if you haven't got children, people don't always make the time. So on this World Marriage Day, if you are married and you are in a happy relationship, just enjoy each other and have some fun.